Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mama Kendi Kitchen. Today I want to make pumpkin soup. It's for the baby, so I'm not going to add any spice. So I'll start by um, making a stock. I'll start by preparing stock, a chicken stock. These are my vegetables that I'm going to use. I have cedar leaf, carrots and the red onions and then my my bones eh? chicken bones are boiling let me show you so you can see i just a little small but i'm just boiling the 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 wings and the shingle the neck eh? so whenever you are making stock you have to boil either if you are using meat all bones you have to boil them for a longer time before adding the vegetables because they take more time to be ready so that's why i covered my bones with a cold water and then uh, i brought them to a boiling so i'm going to add in my vegetables in here i never add salt to your stock you can have variety of stocks that you want. If you want a vegetable stock, you just boil vegetables. And remember, don't add any colored in uh, vegetable onto your stock because the, the stock will turn a color. See, I've added now my vegetables. So I just want them to boil. Then this is now the liquid. Eh? This is the liquid now, which is known as the stock. So this is the chicken stock. So this is what I'm going to use to make my pumpkin soup. Remember, um, I will not use any spice because it's for the babies. But if you want to make yours, you can add eh, the spices. I just use the pumpkin the garlic and ginger and salt so this is the pumpkin that i'm going to use but i just cut a quarter of it yeah i'll not use all of it eh? um, and then when you are making a soup you add a thickening agent this one I'm not going to add any thickening agent. So now I'm going to peel these three parts. This one, this one, and this one. And I just remove this part and then I peel it like three. Yeah. Once you cut your pumpkin like this how you can stall it the best you can remove these things inside these ones eh? and then you put it if, you, if it has to stay in fridge like a day if it to stay more than that uh, you you get it from the fridge when it is very watery so the best thing you just remove this part and then you put it in a, a, a plate eh? in a at a room temperature in fact you can um use it for a week when it's like this once you cut it but it's not undivisable you put in fridge because it anyonya maji takuwa na maji yeah you see now whenever you want to store this eh? maybe you use it like a, a week eh? you just remove the scents and then you just put it in an open place in fact, after one week, you can use it. It's a good thing. For the moment, you put it in the fridge. Hey, it will be too watery. So now I'm going to just peel it. And then I cut it into cubes. Peeled. We wash and then we peel don't do vice versa. <sighs> wash, peel. Wash, cut. Wash, shred. Yes. 
Now I've cut it into cubes. We can cut any shape. So as we wait our um, stock to be ready, I'm going to be preparing other ingredients to make the soup. That is a uh, crushing garlic and ginger, um, cutting onion. Yeah. So now I'm going to fry my pumpkin and this is the shallot, the white onion, crushed garlic and ginger. And then since I don't have a butter, I'm going to use this. Eh? I'm going to use blue butter. Yeah. Na ninapima kwa macho. You know I'm an African, eh? Yeah. See, that's our stock. It is ready now. When you are uh, using stock, you don't hunt the veggies or the boats, eh? You just sieve and use the liquid part of it. So eat your pot and you are cooking well if you are using cooking well if you are adding butter margarine and your shallots and then let them not turn color we are sweating them Cook until they are translucent and then not turn color. Mm. Don't use a lot of oil because your soup will be greasy. And stir. So at this point you go now you add your spices, black pepper, white pepper. We add now the pumpkin. Cover with the stock and then bring it to boil. You can add bone gani for flavor. I'll show you on my next video. I'm not so sure if it's next or next or next. How to make bonquet gani to flavor your soups, uh, sauces, gravies, etc. Cover it. They are ready now. I want to bread them. So now I want to bread it. Remember, you pull it first before you put it inside here. Never put anything hot with the blender. So you're supposed to want some um, stock, cold stock inside here. Just very little. You don't have to uh, operate bread when it is when when you have not added a uh, liquid. Eh? So I've decided to add a bit of a. Uh, uh, stock cold stock see how it is it is thick enough so there's no need of adding a thickening agent so uh, you can either use a blender or the conical strainer so you are, I'm going to return it onto another saucepan I check uh, seasoning and then uh, if it's too thick, I add a bit of um, a stock. And then I serve it. This is my soup. Just have a look at it. It's so thick. So I'm going to add a bit of um, stock. And then I add a pinch of salt. It should be poured in eh? Uh, point to note eh? all qualities for a gold soap the color you can see it has the right color and then it 
test till I taste that one I'll be able to say if it is a good soup doesn't it does not have grease Yeah. Now we are going to go. So if you have enjoyed my recipe, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And bye till next video.